we're here, second day. Well, technically, it's going to be our first day uh, actually doing stuff. My camera's dead. I forgot to change the battery, so unfortunately, I won't be able to record anything today. We're going to do like a benchmark thing, see where we're at. Uh, but we're going to do that tomorrow, so you can see. Uh, for the rest of today, we're going to do an actual workout. And uh, you don't get to see it. We'll see you tomorrow. It's all right. Ready? Yeah. And he's mad at me because they're filming right now, not working out. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, nah, I'm joking. It's not that bad. Technically, it's uh, day three, but uh, it would be day two of actually working out. So from now on, it, it's actual workout days. Today, I'm not going to the gym for one reason. Delayed onset muscle soreness. It's a, it's a common thing that happens to uh, newbies, basically, in the gym. Or it happens to anyone uh, if you do something strenuous, which you have maybe haven't done in a while, or haven't done ever. For me, that's squats and deadlifts. I've never done them. And I think with this sore lower back, I'm not going to be able to set much of a benchmark. Instead of today's uh, clips, I'm going to show you what I eat after a workout. So I have uh, usually three bananas. Uh, here's only one. Uh, and I have some oats. Now this looks like vomit. Oh, let's get a close-up. So what we have here is uh, oats, just quick oats you can buy anywhere. I got mine from Bulk Barn. And the difference between quick oats and regular oats uh, is just uh, the quick oats are cut thinner. Uh, also in here is one banana and some silk almond original almond milk, so a little bit of water, some hemp protein powder, two tablespoons of just like bulk hemp protein powder, just a little protein boost, some hemp seeds and some flax seed. Uh, also uh, just a, a little splash of maple syrup for some extra polyphenols. Now sometimes I'll add more stuff, sometimes I'll add less stuff. Today we're missing blueberries, uh, I don't have any so usually I would add a ton of blueberries because they are an excellent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. They also add some sweetness and some color, it makes it a nice purple. And that is what I eat, usually after a workout. So in the morning, before I go for my workout uh, at the gym, I eat a couple bananas. Or just uh, something light and sugary is what I'm getting at here. That's it. And if I don't have oats readily available, I'll just have a uh, Vigo One little uh, protein drink. And that actually tastes pretty good by itself, just water and the powder. Uh, as for Dylan, I don't know. Uh, we will see. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, in a few seconds, actually, tomorrow. There you go. Okay, day, today's day three here at the gym. We're stretching out because uh, that's important. Today we're gonna set a benchmark. Let's do it. So uh, first one up is the treadmill, hey? Okay? Yeah, yeah. Let's see how far we can run and how fast. We're gonna keep it consistent at a 0% rate. Speed, seven for him, eight for me. Then in a month's time, see if we can run longer. I just did 10 minutes, was my goal every time. Um, we ran at a great percentage of zero with a speed of seven. Burned 122 calories, so, so far I'm happy. Fourteen minutes, speed eight. Time to beat that. What's next? We don't have much time left. Uh, so you're, you're gonna do as much as you can at 70 pounds. Come on, one more. That's it? Yeah. You want to aim a little higher because. So right now I'm gonna do some muscle ups. This is to beat next month.
So now I'm gonna tap my human flag. Well, not mine, but a human flag. Last time I did it was 14 seconds. That was a while ago, so I'll see where I'm at now. Thankfully they have these things here. Nice. Seven seconds. Now I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna set a personal best or benchmark for a handstand push-up. So these things uh, come with a deep handstand push-up. I don't have the balance yet to do it with a wall, so maybe I'll work on that too. Seven. So you need a chin up personal best. Yeah. And a benchmark to crush next month. Yeah. All right, see what you got. I have to jump for it because I'm pretty weak right now, but eventually I want to just be able to do that down there. Uh, All right. That's what we have to beat next month. So well, we got to come back tomorrow and set some more benchmarks uh, because in a month's time, we're gonna look back on this and be like, oh, I wanna crush my muscle up, I wanna crush my squat, this, 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 this. The more stuff we set for ourselves now, the more excited we're gonna to be to just crush those numbers next month. For sure. So. <laughs> come out, come out, whatever you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Benchmark for the squat is I think 110 pounds total, which isn't that much, but uh, let's see how much I can do. How many deadlifts? Like 110 pounds, I think. 70 plus 40 bar. Remember, don't hyperextend. I saw a guy do this once. It probably isn't a machine. <laughs> What weight are you at? I'm at Cole's weight. My weight. <laughs> 115. That's a, that's a couple pounds lighter than me. Let's see, let's see if you can squat me. Nineteen. 
19. All right. I'm going to see how many levers I can do. I'm here to change the game up. I'm here to shuffle up the deck. You'll probably think I'm famous because I got a blue check. I remember playing ball up in Montreal, Quebec. The richest people that I met, they said they really were from Czech. My sales pitch is deadly, so you better consult. If I'm a rap, then I figure I was giving my all because I could rock a 16. I'm not that strong right now, core wise, and my arms are really weak from working them out, but uh, I'm going to try at least 30 seconds plank uh, and hopefully work my way up from there. A minute, and so on and so forth. As long as you can, right? Then I figure I would give it my all because I could rock a 16 better than Paul Gasson. I'm like Pedro with the shot with a basketball. I got more love for the game, like Sanaa Lathan. My flow is game changing like the audible from Peyton Manning. Good luck to my haters because success is. He's sagging. Oh. Could be water weight. Oh. Looks like I've also gained two pounds. The first time you saw me weigh myself, I was holding the camera. <laughs> the thing weighs like five pounds, so now it's accurate. Or it goes <laughs> up the ass. All right, thank you for watching this far. If you're still tuned in to this boring video, this thank marks you. the end of uh, week one. I don't know. I feel like we've made some improvements so far. Yeah. I, what do you think? I, it could be in my head, but I feel stronger. Uh, some of the weights that I was pulling on day one uh, felt a lot lighter. We got some uh, PBs done, personal vests, uh, benchmarks, whatever. Yeah. We're gonna crush them next month. That's the that's the plan. Yep. And you can see our progress, obviously. We hope you just you know get inspired. You know. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I'm I'm six foot three and kind of chunky too, Dylan. Uh, oh, I could get your body too if I work hard. Okay. That was dumb. Yeah, cut that. That was dumb. <laughs> no, see, that's that's the point. Including me, a while ago, I was looking up calisthenics videos, and I'm like, these guys are insane. He's got how do you muscle ups? What the hell? Human flag, human uh, levers, you know? Uh, I I didn't I didn't see myself being able to do that stuff before this. I was training in my basement for like six months, and uh, I got to that point where I could start doing muscle ups and levers and human flags. And you'll get to see that even just a guy like me, five foot five and a half. Skinny. That's pushing it five foot five and a half. It is. <laughs> I'm skinny. Uh, I don't have a lot of muscle. Uh, you know, you can see a guy like me, a skinny rat, go to something like uh, Frank Madrano maybe in the future. Look up Frank Madrano. He's a what you would call a alien, athletic freak. <laughs> uh, but you build strength every day. I want to make some hypertrophy gains, endurance gains, cardiovascular gains. Basically, improve uh, everything. So hey, that's the end. See you next Monday, where you'll see another full week of us doing crap, <laughs> making gains. Getting healthy. Exactly. Just basically getting better. Exactly. All around better life. If you find inspiration or hope or something, join us. That's the whole point. I don't get paid to make these videos. I mean, I do, but it's really not much to make a living off of. <laughs> really doing it just to help everyone. Until further news, I shall talk to you later. Have a neat day.